Alvin, pull yourself together, Alvin. <laughs> the gang's all here. I thought this was up to me. I'll heal you right away. Elise? <coughs> what should I do? What's wrong? You appear unhurt. And look! Tebow's here too! Glad you're okay. Hey! Let's play! But first, give me a name! Huh? Hey! Let's play! But first, give me a name! <laughs> What's going on? Hey! Let's play! But first, give me a name! One of the Exodus agents ripped something out of Tipo. And that's all he's been saying since. So, he really was just a machine all along. A toy. A toy? Yeah, a stuffed animal designed to move and talk by itself. He, he wasn't a toy. He was my friend. Alvin, what happened to the Exodus agents? I killed one of them. The other gave me the slip. Good work. What about Tipo? If we can get back whatever they pulled out of him, maybe he'll go back to normal. When did the Exodus agent leave? Ages ago. Then the trail is cold. Trying to retrieve whatever they took will be a waste of time. We need to get moving. But couldn't you do both? Can't you help? If you wish to search for Exodus, I won't stop you. But that means we'll have to part ways. Uh. Very well. Let's get back to the city. Get back! Heal, you dogs! Heal! My apologies if my pets frightened you. I had to sick them on some poachers. Jow? Mm -hmm. 
What brings you lot here? <sighs> I see you finally returned to this place, child. You remember it, do you? What's he talking about? This is the lab where the little lady was raised. The laboratory has been abandoned for some time, ever since we had that intruder. I take it that intruder was you, Alvin? Women's intuition, huh? I was investigating the boosters they were making here. What? So it was you. What's a booster? A gadget developed by Ajul to ramp up the mana generated by the mana lobe. Elise is actually holding one right now. Tipo. The Spud's apparently a third generation booster. So, you're just a gadget, Tipo? You have named me Tipo. Pleased to meet you. A booster reads the mind of its owner and speaks aloud his or her thoughts. So, all this time, Tipo was just saying what's on Elise's mind? That's not true! Tipo was talking on his own! Tipo, you might be a machine, but you're still my friend, right? Nope. I'm just a machine, Elise. No! You're my friend! Nope. You are mistaken. I'm just a device that verbalizes your thoughts. Elise, I'm sorry. Tell us, big guy. Where are lonely little Elise's mommy and daddy? They... They are no longer with us. What? When you were just four years old, your parents were attacked by a bandit and murdered. Never see them again. Not mother, not father, not even Tipo. Hey. I know how bad this must. You still have your parents and friends. As if these people could ever understand how you feel. Elise, wait. Ugh, damn poachers again. Hold on. Why was Elise at this laboratory? Well, she was brought here. Sold, really. There was this woman who would gather up orphans and take them to the laboratory. What was her name? I don't suppose it was Isla. Yes, that's it. Isla. A poacher of children, you might say. I have no right telling you this, but please, never let that child be alone again. Be careful. This place is crumbling down all around us. It's as if no human has set foot in here for years. How bad is your wound? Well, I failed at the job I was sent to do, and now you guys are here. The wound to my pride might be mortal. And now you've betrayed Exodus, too. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. For all you know, I might have even staged all that. <laughs> 